Hello, Bonnie Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander 2. Me, Blue Ankylo. Last episode, we blew up some troop transports and our wingman ejected again, as always. I'm not sure if they've ever come back to the to the Concordia with us in this game. Anyway, how you guys doing? Welcome back. I uh, still hanging in there, playing some more Wing Commander. We're flying rapiers. We're in uh, the Tesla system, third mission. In case you can't read on the side, and uh, yeah, not not a lot of plot development in the last couple episodes. Blue and Angel just smooching it up, and Angel getting a little bit uh, anxious about sending us out to fight. So we'll see what happens. Observation deck. Blue. I've been a damn fool all this time. Calling Hobbs an enemy agent. Ah, uh, you had your reasons. We all have reasons to hate to kill Rathy. But Hobbs isn't the enemy. Hobbs gave us probable kill Rathy tactics for the attack on Olympus. Without that intelligence, the cats would have their claws on Olympus right now. I wonder if there are any other kill Rathy like Hobbs. Uh, when they wasted Goddard Colony, all I could think was that they're evil. That we should roast every single one of them. But after flying with Hobbs, I'm not so sure anymore. Uh, maybe we'll have peace with them someday, Blue. Yeah, but right now we're still at war. Maybe we'll find some other greater threat to join forces with. Meanwhile, at Kitithrak Meng, Kilrathi Battle Command, Mithrak Sector. I did not summon you, grandson, but I know what you want. This you is not wish to fight the humans. My lord. You have ordered me to remain here. But how can I prove myself if I do not lead warriors into battle? Kazra and my cousins shame me with their glory and honors. Kazra, I have heard enough of Kazra. Your father sought glory as Kazra does. His ambitions led to his fatal accident. <laughs> Such accidents are very common in our family. Your father destroyed the humans at Goddard, but his quest for glory cost us an entire strike fleet. Such failures are unacceptable in an admiral or an heir. You may go to war, grandson, and as for Kazra, he shall face the Concordia pilots, where he may find the glory that he seeks. But if you fail me, as I expect Kazra will, one of your 15 cousins shall be the heir to Kira. Oh, snap! Don't mess with the Empire, Emperor, guys. So, uh, what did we learn? We learned that, remember Secret Missions 1 from Wing Commander? Uh, the pilot, or I guess the admiral of the Kilrathi uh, fleet, that smoked Goddard, and then we chased them down in the Tiger's Claw and destroyed them all. Uh, that was pretty epic. That was Prince Crown Prince Tracath's. How are we? Tracanth? Tracath? I think it's Tracath. Anyway, that was his father who failed the Empire and was disintegrated as punishment. So that's how Crown Prince became Crown Prince, I guess. And uh, now Kasra and the rest of his friends are goading the prince on to come and kill us and the empire old grand pops there not impressed so uh maybe we'll be seeing one of them soon seeing as the em emperor's demanded kasra stop us himself we'll see we'll see who wins briefing room the other wings will fly patrols around the concordia Finally, Blue and Stingray, I have a special run for you. Paladin needs an escort out system. Would you two like to volunteer? Of course! I wouldn't want him to face enemy ships alone in that old junker. The Bonnie Heather is a fine ship, lad. You just have no appreciation for a classic design. Yeah, classic. Right, James? Your mission, gentlemen. Flying via nav point one should allow you to avoid enemy patrols. Spoiler alert, it probably won't. Continue on to the main gun point. 
After the freighter jumps out system, return via the area marked Bogies. Major Edmund has detected a possible jump trail in that area. Any questions? No, Colonel. James, I hope we meet again one day. I'd bet on it, laddie. Dismissed, pilots. Alright. So, escort the Bonnie Heather out. And, uh... Go through the nav point where there won't be any enemies. And then go check out some bogeys. Again, laddie. Good to see you again. All right, well, let's look at our nav. So, two steps. I don't see any bogies. Where's the bogies? I guess the bogies don't show up until you, until you uh, escort this guy out. All right, but remember, nav point one. That's this is letting us avoid enemy patrols. What do you guys think? Is it gonna work for once? Hey. Oh, it didn't practice. work. <laughs> they always lie. Lying. She's trying to get us killed. Let's Any, kick anyway, um, Drac Cree shouldn't be a huge problem for a rapier, assuming I could shoot and and not miss. Man, this thing is nailed him. Possible to hit. All right. Meanwhile, there's these two or three behind. Holy smokes! What is going on? Um. You know, there's a lot of flak, so it's a little bit hard to, to see. Dracree everywhere. Now, I'm not... I don't think they can really do a whole lot of damage to the Bonnie, Heather. But, you know, I'll try to shoot them down quick one way or the other. Like, there you go. <laughs> I mean, that was pretty easy, right? I think the turrets on the Bonnie, Heather may have gotten one or two, or maybe Stingray. I don't know. Look, there was four Dracree, now there's zero. Nothing else to say. Also, I almost crashed into uh, Stingray there, of course. Because he just flew right in front of me. Alright. Nav point one clear. Let's continue. And I think we just need to sit here for a second. Concordia, this is blue. The Bonnie Heather is at the jump point. Someone's playing some sad music. We'll return when she jumps. Blue, we're detecting two incoming for Althra. You can't ice a capital ship without torpedoes, but work out- work on their fighters. Wait till the Bonnie Heather jumps and get after them. Didn't they tell me about the bogeys? Like, I feel like something went wrong on this mission. In the- in the briefing, it was like, nav one, jump point, then bogeys, then home. And now it's like, surprise, there's bogeys you have to deal with. But they already told us about those. Anyway. <laughs> That was good. So, <laughs> the <laughs> Stingray flew in front of the uh, transport as it jumped out and almost got killed by it jumping. Ah, oh, wingmen. Wingmen, wingmen, wingmen. Alright, let's go to na the bogey. Let's go check out the bogeys. Hey, target practice. Uh, so there's two Frothra. We uh, can't even hurt them, unfortunately. But we could try to destroy some Jelkahi. There's a few of them. Switch over to actual useful missiles here. Uh, let's see if we can taunt them. Taunt failed. Let's go kick ass. I didn't talk to you. I'm trying to talk to the the Jalkahi. I really don't want to get too close to the uh, yeah to the Frothra. Time to die, human. So I'm trying to taunt them into coming closer. And not get killed by missiles at long range here. Alright, so, uh, looks like. There we go. Finally launched one of my missiles. Apparently, it was too slow, too, too little, too late. Don't go after the Frothra. Tazra Red Claw shall destroy you. I'm out of here. Uh, shall destroy wait. Terra. What's going on? Frothra, don't want to get close. Kasra? Kasra? I fired a missile at him. Just to say hello.
Apparently my friend... What is going on here? This guy flew in front of me just to hit me with his rear turrets? Is that what's going on? Okay, so we've got an enemy ace. Is what I'm trying to get around to here. And I'm trying to stay away from the capital ships. That was a really good missile there. We've got another Jalkahi. I guess we'll save Castro for last. It's probably good. He's probably what scared uh, old Stingray out. So Stingray didn't get exploded this time for the first time ever. He just ran away rather than um, getting... You know, I expect Angel's getting pretty upset with him always blowing up ships. So she told him to just retreat rather than, you know, losing us another ship. It's probably pretty expensive to replace these uh, rapiers. Alright, we're doing just fine here. Okay, I think everybody except Kasra is dead. And there's two Frothra. There's really nothing we can do about that. We need to get a little bit closer, though, to finish our scan, I think. Definitely want to get that scan off. What I'll try to do is get close enough to taunt Kasra and then lead him away again. Honestly, my taunting seemed to be fairly successful there. Taunt. You killed my brother. You killed my brother. Ooh, he's mad. Alright, come on, Kasra, come on. This way. I don't have any good missiles right now, so I gotta be a little bit careful here. Uh, trying to get hit by that missile. And come on, Castro, come on back, kitty kitty. Die, human. At least he takes the bait. Alright. Now we're nice and far away from his escorts. I know my shooting is amazing. Impeccable shots. Follow he's trying to get us to go back. You killed, killed my brother. Firing more missiles. I'm not even sure if he fired that missile, to be honest. Okay, we could take one missile, probably, with our rapier shields. I mean, I prefer not to. Well, all of our front shields are down, and some armor. Apparently, uh... Remember in Wing Commander 1, full shields could protect you from one missile? I think missiles have become stronger. They do more damage now than they used to. Or the shields on the ship are just weaker. Than in Wing Commander 1. Don't... Crash. I mean, this guy is an ace, so he should be okay at flying. I don't know. He's only in a, a Jalkahi. It'd be a lot worse if he was in a Grikath. Maybe he gets extra armor or shields or something. I don't know. But I think we've almost got him. He's looking pretty red. Now you die, human. Honestly, I think you're the one who's going to die, Kasra. Just taunt him again. Now you die, human. Every time he tries to go back to the Frouther, we just taunt him again. Come on. Ah, he turned around, got the got the neutron turret hitting me. <laughs> the sniping is is not working so well. Taunt him again. I shall avenge my brother's death. You shall avenge nothing. Alright, missile. And come on. Kill, 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 kill him. Kill him! Oh man, this guy's got a lot of armor. Doesn't seem to want to die very well. There we go. Ah, it's another dead ace. Okay, so stay away from those Feraltha. Get close enough for the scan. And let's go on home. Yeah. So unfortunately you can't damage Frothra from a rapier. You gotta use torpedoes. And to be honest, I think it's two torpedoes per Frothra. So uh, it would be pretty hard. You'd basically need a broadsword, I guess, to kill both of them with four torpedoes. Anyway, that's a win. We took out another ace. I'm feeling a little bit better about my rapier flying. Because I took out some Jalkahi there fairly solo. Affirmative. You are clear to land. And for once, uh, Stingray didn't die. He he just ran away. Or didn't get his ship blown up, anyway. Concordia, this is Blue. Do you copy? Roger, Blue. We're launching broadswords to take care of those two Frothra. Good work, Blue. What else do you have to report? Uh, we escorted the Bonnie Heather through a Drakiri wing, Drakri wing at Nav 1. Your, uh... 
Your data was wrong. There was an ambush, as always. By my count, I nailed five of the fur balls. Good work, Blue. Uh, I got... Well, how, how did he come back? Well, I got one kill, Rathy Concordia. Yeah, whatever, chicken. You're supposed to... You, you abandoned your duty. Roger that. ALS is linked and ready for your landing. It is funny how they get joined up for the cutscenes, even after they've uh, sometimes exploded or ran away. Or been sent back to base. Welcome back, sir. Our ship looks like it's in pretty good repair today. Okay, well that was a, a fine little mission. Um, at least they're giving us fairly easy rapier missions. You know, there's only a few enemy ships. I think it's just... I, I definitely feel like in this game, your ships... Other than the broadsword anyway, but uh, especially rapiers, sabers, and epes. They all seem so fragile. It just takes a couple volleys... Even the missiles, if a missile can hit you at full shields, break your shield and take out half your armor or something like that. One missile, that's just too strong, man. That's too much damage. <laughs> but um, I feel like it's more damage than Wing Commander 1 anyway. And uh, it just it's just a slight adjustment. It, it makes it way more important to dodge everything. Unless you're flying a broadsword. Then you just kill everything, you're fine. Okay, well that's all for today's episode. Uh, another fairly straightforward mission. There was only uh, eight ships you could kill, Drakri, four Drakri and four Jel Jelkahi. Um, assumedly the Bonnie Heather might kill one or two, and then you can't really do anything about the Frothra, so all in all, a fairly straightforward mission, not too difficult. Uh, wish me luck for next episode as things get even hotter. Thanks for watching, I hope you have enjoyed, and have a great day.